Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Shauna and today I've got a huge haul to share with you guys. I'm making up for lost time. So um, this video is going to be filmed in two separate parts because I actually filmed this entire haul video two days ago. Late last night I was uploading footage to edit and noticed that the intro and the beginning where I talked about the stuff I got at the drugstore was not there. So was the camera not recording? Did I inadvertently delete it? I have no idea, it just was gone. So I'm filming it again right now, two days later, and I put on the same shirt so at least it somewhat looks cohesive. Um, but let's go ahead and just get started with some of the things I picked up at the drugstore. So, first thing I picked up at Walgreens were a few brushes from Wet n Wild. And these are super cute brushes, you guys. They're white, they've got pink bristles up top, and they're a decent quality and they are so inexpensive. These large shader brushes here, I think it's called the large eyeshadow brush. Um, these ones were only 99 cents each. This blush brush I think was like two bucks or something like that. And they're super cute brushes, I love them. They didn't have a, a, that big of a selection of these brushes at the Walgreens that I go to, but online there's a much better selection. So they've got some like fluffy blending brushes and stuff like that that I'm looking into purchasing online. So these are super cute, I love them. Also from Wet n Wild, I picked up this foundation here. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I picked up the shade Golden Beige. I've heard a lot of really good things about this foundation. Um, and I think retail it was $5.99, so $6, but this was on sale for $3.99. So if you have a Walgreens nearby, head in there and pick this stuff up if you get a chance because it's super inexpensive. And I'm currently filming a first impression video on this foundation, so if you're interested on in my first impressions on this, then stay tuned because the video will be posted shortly. Okay. All right, what should I do next? Should I do Ulta or Sephora? Ulta is like a way bigger haul. We'll do Ulta, and then we'll do Sephora last. All right, so at Ulta, I had this gift card that my brother got me for my birthday last in June that I hadn't used and I finally decided to go and use it because I needed some mascara and a couple things and I went a little overboard and um, when I was going to check out at the checkout counter, they asked me if I wanted to use up my points and I was like, well, how many points do I have? And they're like, $157 worth. And I'm like, $157? They're like, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. So I went back and I grabbed some more things. So there's a lot of stuff here, you guys. Um, but let's go ahead and what should I start with? Let's start with non-makeup and then go into makeup. So first things I got are these brushes here from Real Techniques. These are the Instapop Eye Brush Duos. And at the moment they're having a sale at Ulta where it's buy one, get one 50% off. So I bought four boxes of these because I really love the shapes. Um, I've got some already open here that I can show. All right, so the shape on these, you guys, I really love. They're really similar to that Marc Jacobs Under Eye Concealer Brush. Um, and you get two, you get a bigger one and a smaller one. And these are for loose pigments and things like that for packing onto the lid. But you don't have to use these with just loose pigments, you guys. These are great for concealer. These are great for, um, the little one is really great for like nose contouring and stuff like that. And they, they're good at just packing on color on the lid. I really love the shape for just stamping on the color on the lid. and because of the taper, they're like tapered brushes, you could use the point to like define the outer corner, you can smudge underneath the lash line. I mean, there's so many things you could do with these brushes. So I really love these and I bought four packs of them. That's how much I love them. And then since Everything Real Techniques was buy one, get one 50% off, I got two of these Miracle Complexion sponges. I already have a lot of these sponges, but I don't have the case for traveling and I do travel enough to merit owning a case. So I got two of these, so I have a little case that I can carry around my sponges in, so that's pretty cool. And then I got a pair of these lashes from Ardell. These are the faux mink lashes. So they're not mink, but they look like mink, and they looked really pretty. Um, so I thought that I would give them a try. This is the style, I don't know what the style is, but it says 812. So these are the 812 lashes. And I haven't tried them on yet, but I'm interested in giving them a go to see if they look a little bit more natural than the more like synthetic -y, cheapy ones, you know what I mean? Which are fine, there's nothing wrong with them. But I just thought that I would give these a go. And then, moving on into makeup, I got a couple of liners from Physicians Formula. I really like these. These are, uh, what are these called? Brush Tip Eyeliner. 
That's all it says. And I got one in the shade black and I got the charcoal gray one. And I really, wasn't, so this one came with two. And the other one that it came with is the matte lacquer cream eyeliner. And I opened this up and looked at it. And this is very similar to the application method of those one benefit their real liner thingies that I don't like. I don't like those, you guys. Um, but I, I tried it. I put some on my hand and the formula is really nice. It's like a really creamy matte liner. So I do like the formula of this. And I actually tried to apply this on my eye. And this to me is easier to apply than the benefit one, but it's still not my favorite way to apply it. But um, the liner itself, I really like, and it's a brush tip. I like um, liquid liners with like the really fine brush tip, kind of like the Kat Von D lightning liner ones. This is very similar to that. And this one has, the Physician's Formula ones have, have um, like a lash serum in them. So they're supposed to like stimulate growth in your lashes and everything. I have never noticed anything like that in my lashes per se, but um, to me, I, I'm not sure that the, the lash serum is a good thing. I feel like the more I use them, the worse my lashes get. It could be just an aging thing from getting older, but my lashes are definitely progressively getting grosser and more pathetic as the years go by. Um, and then I got one in charcoal gray, and this one was on sale for $5.49 for some reason. I don't know if they're are they discontinuing these. Everything I love, they discontinue. But anyway, got a couple of those. Then I got another tube of my favorite mascara at the moment. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in the Waterproof Formula. Um, I've got Stick Straight Sparse Pathetic Lashes and the Waterproof Formula helps hold to hold the curl. And this to me, um, I normally don't like waterproof mascaras because they're really, um, they're very drying, they're very hard to remove and all that stuff. And they're usually not, they're not very similar to the non-waterproof formula. They're usually like a completely different formula. But I find this formula to be very similar to the regular non-waterproof formula like an effect like I get just as much thickness and fullness as I do in the non-waterproof formula um, except this one holds the curl a little bit better and I find that this one doesn't flake off as much as the original formula does I really love the original formula but it does kind of like I get little black dots around my eyes sometimes so this one doesn't flake like that one does and I really really love it and this is why I went to Ulta in the first place and then I got this concealer from Clarins. This is the Clarins Instant Concealer Smoothing Long Lasting Revives Tired Eyes. This is in the shade two. They only have two shades, so not a wide shade selection, but um, shade one, I believe, is lighter and it's a little bit more yellow tone. This one's got a little bit more of a pink undertone and the pinks and the warmer undertones like cancel out darkness. Um, I always wear a corrector underneath to cancel out my darkness, but a little bit more correction on top couldn't help. It's a little bit more fleshy colored. So um, I got this. I have used it a couple of times. I do like it. It doesn't seem to be as long wearing as a current favorite of mine that I've been using that I'm gonna talk about in a favorites video coming up. Um, but it is a good concealer. I do, I do enjoy this concealer. So, so far so good. All right, and then I got this eyeshadow palette from Tarte. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I don't have the original palette, um, but I was kind of walking around and I went past the Tarte section and I thought the colors were really pretty and I have a lot of warm colors you guys I wore I wear warm colors more but lately I've kind of been appreciating the cooler colors a little bit more recently um why is that I was watching Hulu there were old reruns of Beverly Hills 90210 on Hulu and there were some episodes where Donna Martin Tori Spelling was had some like like cooler toned eyeshadows that looked really nice so that kind of inspired this purchase um, I did date a guy on Beverly Hills 90210 So if you guys are interested in that story, I'll do a, um, I'll do a story time video on that one of these days. But anyway, um, this palette, I went and picked up, you know, I walked past the Tarte counter and the colors just kind of jumped out at me. And I realized that I don't own any Tarte eyeshadows. I've never really had much experience with Tarte eyeshadows. So I went ahead and picked this up and it's a really pretty so far. I've really been enjoying it. My favorite color at the moment is this one here, Sweetheart. This like kind of like a paler, rosier brown. These these three really I've kind of been enjoying the most. Um, but it is a really pretty, just neutrally palette. It's it's more it's, it's it's weird. It's a warm, cool palette. You know what I mean? Like it's rosy, which is warm, but it's a cool undertoned rosiness. Does that make sense? Anyway, been enjoying this. 
And since we're on the Tarte theme, I couldn't turn away this holiday palette that they had. And since I had all those extra points, I didn't spend that much at Ulta, you guys, between the gift card and all those points. It didn't, it didn't end up being as much as bad as it seems, but um, I got this holiday palette. What is this even called? Magic Star Collector's Set, $49 for $411 retail value. So this I just thought was really pretty. You've got this beautiful box that opens up and the colors inside were really nice. I know that I'm gonna be using this palette, you guys, because these are just, these are my kind of colors and I really loved the colors of the eyeshadows and you do get one highlighter, you get an eyeliner, you get two different blushes here, you get a gloss and you get a liquid lip color here that are both colors that I would totally wear, the cheek colors I would totally wear and then you get a bronzer down here and you get the mascara here. I haven't, it's, I have tried this mascara, it was a while ago, I can't remember if it was good or not but anyway, I thought that it doesn't matter you guys, it's got all this other good stuff that if the liner sucks or if the mascara sucks then it was still worth it. But um, yeah, I got this palette here and I haven't played around with it, I haven't really swatched it much other than in the store but I really like the colors and it's just a complete package. So if I were to travel, all I needed to do was take this, which never happens, I always end up taking way more than I need. But if I really had to, I could just pick this up and take this. This is all that I would need for travel. So I really like this. And then a one-off, I got this lip gloss from Anastasia in the shade Gilded, which is like a goldy, um, like an orangey gold color. And I love colors like this, you guys. There were some products from MAC years and years and years ago that were like my all-time favorite MAC products that they discontinued. There was, a lip, uh, there was a lipstick in the shade Guava Rain that was literally just like this. There was um, like this lip balm that I, ha I have like four backups of it because I loved it so much and the little pots in the shade Hush Hush. And then um, they used to do these lip lacquers at MAC. It was, it was just called MAC Lip Lacquer and this is just like the MAC Lip Liner and Guavarine and all those colors from MAC that I love that they always seem to bring up and discontinue. So I was so happy to see this color. It's so pretty, guys. It's like a really rich, like warm orangey, tangerine-y, coppery gold color. And it's just so pretty as a topper on top of like darker colors or, or like more burgundy colors or on its own, like bronzy colors. Like it's just, I love colors like this, you guys. So I picked up this gloss. And then I got a few things from the Benefit counter. I was really excited to see this invisible lash glue from Benefit because this is latex free and I do have a sensitivity to latex. So I tend to use the one from House of Lashes, but I don't know where you could get that without like other than online. So I have to order it online, which is kind of a pain. So it's nice to know that there's another latex free formula available at Ulta that I can just run and pick up when I need it. And this one, the only thing that concerns me about this is, is it comes in a tube, like a squeezy tube. So um, the House of Lashes ones has like a wand with a little brush at the end for application. But I used to use the Duo Glue before I developed a, a sensitivity to the latex and, and it wasn't that bad. So hopefully this should be okay. But um, I looked, I squirted some on my hand and it looks to be the exact same consistency as the uh, House of Lashes lash glue. So um, it looks the same color, consistency and everything. So I'm kind of excited about this. And then the girl at the counter, I really liked her, you guys. When you're in sales, it's really important to just be friendly and likable, you know what I mean? Anyway, I had no intentions on buying this other stuff, but she was just so cool that I just had to buy stuff from her. But I got this um, concealer from Benefit, the Boying Airbrush Concealer. Looks like they've um, revamped all the Boying, the whole Boying line. Um, and I got the airbrush one. There's a brightening one, there's a heavy coverage one, and then there's an airbrushed one. I got the airbrushed one in the shade number two. And this one is like a kind of like a cream to powder formula. It's like kind of a, got a blurring effect. And um, I thought that this would be good for just like around the face other than just under the eyes because I don't really have a good concealer that I use like elsewhere on the face. So I thought that I would get this a go and it does seem to kind of blur in perfection. So really enjoying this. And then I got this blush here in the shade Dallas. I love blushes like this, you guys. It's almost like a bronzer slash blush almost. It's definitely like a, like kind of a brownish, dusty, rosy, bronzy blush color. And I love colors like this. And this is gonna be especially pretty like in the summer, the spring and the summertime um, for that like bronzy look. So I really love colors like this. So I got this and I love the brushes, you guys. I love the brushes. 
that these Benefit Box blushes come with. They're just really good brushes. And to me, this is better than that NARS Eda brush. It's like softer and you can like cut the contour with this brush and it's just, I really like these brushes. So, especially if you're into the contouring. I don't contour that much anymore, but I still think the quality is really nice. So, yeah. And then at the checkout counter, they had an impulse buy section that had this palette here. This is the Smashbox Cover Shot Eye Palette in a blaze and the cover is so cute, guys. Can you see the hologram in the front of it? It's so cool. I walked past the Smashbox section and I saw the other colors. They've got a whole bunch of different palettes, you guys, with different colors, and I was really tempted to pick up a few more, but I, I tried to control myself. And then at the Impulse Buy section at Ulta, they had this right by the checkout counter, and I'm like, ah, screw it, let's just get it. And this is a really cool, you guys. It's got these warmer colors over here, which are like my favorite colors to wear. And then it's got these pinkier ones here, which I really like too. And that's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. So if you're interested in this, I'm posting a video about, you know, a tutorial on this makeup look too. But um, it's really pretty, you guys. And it's just, it's a smaller palette. You know, it's not like a big bulky palette. So for travel, this would be nice too. Just if I didn't want to bring like a whole bunch of crap, I just wanted something that I know that I'm going to use. And I know that I like all the colors. There's not one color in this palette that I don't like, you guys. I love them all. And these are all the kinds of colors that I would wear all the time. So I couldn't pass this up. All right, now Sephora. I did purchase some things from Sephora. All right, so the first thing that I picked up from Ulta is this product here from Stila. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold Retro. So I was watching the Pixie Woo sisters and Sam from Pixie Woo did this video where she used one of these and I couldn't find the color she used. It didn't look like they offered it. It's Sephora, but this one looked really similar. This is just the rose gold one, and it's really, really shimmery, glittery eyeshadow. Is, this, is the camera picking this up, how glittery this is? It's ridiculous, you guys, how glittery this is, and I just thought it was so pretty, so I had to get it. Had to get it. And then I picked up another Tarte eyeshadow palette. I got the Tartlet palette, and this, and this is the toasted one, the Tartlet Toasted palette. I picked this up because I couldn't pass it up because these are my kind of colors, you guys. These are warm, orangey, toasty colors. This is my favorite thing to wear, you guys. And um, I don't know why I picked it up. I don't need it, but it was pretty. So I picked it up and I couldn't pass it up. So that's what I did. Anyway, it's really, really pretty palette. Totally colors that I wear all the time. The only thing I will say is, is I tried to wear this color down here in the shade Candle on my lid and I feel like this particular color is kind of a dud. Um, I'm gonna give it another try with like a stickier base underneath, but other than that, I've swatched all the other colors. I've worn some of the other colors already and I really like it so far. I'm really enjoying the Tarte eyeshadows, you guys. They're very soft, they're pigmented. Um, they blend out pretty well and the colors are really nice. I just, I'm really enjoying the Tarte eyeshadows, you guys. And I like these palettes because they're not too big and bulky, they're sturdy and the mirror props itself up, which is important to me, especially for travel. And you do get a really nice giant sized mirror, so that's great for travel, you guys. So really enjoying the Tarte palettes, both of them. And then I did get the holiday palette, or not palette, I got the holiday collection from NARS. It's the NARS Man Ray Lip kit thingy. It comes with this gold bag, which I love. I really like this bag and it's got these little lips on it. And inside you get four of their matte lip crayons. What are these called? These are the velvet matte lip pencils. And three of the four of them have shimmer in them, which is weird because like to me, matte does not have shimmer, but they are like a drier matte formula. They just have like a metallic element to them. So um, it came with four colors. And what drew me to this was again, that kind of like orangey rusty color that I love, like the Mac Guavarine and the Hush Hush and the Anastasia Gilded Gloss. Where is it? This color here, it had that goldy kind of lipstick color that I'm always drawn to. So I picked that up mainly for this, but I, I love all the other colors too. They're really pretty. Um, it came with another color in the shade Spellbound. Okay, let's, I'll, I'll put it, I'll insert swatches in a minute, but the shade Spellbound, which is like a really pretty kind of champagne-y color. And it came with the shade Tundra, which is a really interesting kind of raisiny, bronzy kind of color. It's like a bronzy, plummy color. And then it came with this 
shade here in Enchanted, wait, Enchanted, no, I can't see. Endangered Red, Endangered Red. This is such a pretty, like, deep color. I'm gonna try it right now. Let's, let's just try it right now, you guys. I'm gonna wipe off what I have. I love the smell of these. I can't make out what it is, but it smells really nice. So pretty, you guys. I don't wear colors like this a lot, but this is a really pretty, like deep color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna line it real quick, hold on. All right, I've got this liner here from MAC in the shade Mahogany. I'm just gonna line my lips with this real quick because I find that with these really dark, dark colors, they can they can make your lips look a little small. So I'm gonna have to like cheat and overline a little bit. So hold on. Did I say that this is in the shade mahogany? I don't know if I mentioned that. Alright, so I'm gonna overline. Plus, with these really dark colors, you really need a sharp line. Otherwise, it can look really messy, really quick. And even though those pencils are really easy to work with and you don't necessarily need a liner, for such a deep color, I think you still need a liner. Better? I think that's better. All right, so just to top it off, you guys, I'm gonna put some of this Anastasia gloss and gilded over top just to kind of see because that's one of my favorite things for this kind of color is to put over really deep colors so let's see how this looks oh i love it you guys Sorry guys if it looks a little different in here. It's starting to get dark outside and dark in this room so I turned on the lights in the kitchen. So hopefully it doesn't look too weird. But anyway, a um, few more things. The last few things I got from Sephora are these products here from Huda Beauty. Let's just show you the correct way, Will, shall we? Um, we I got two of these lip strobes and I got the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. So um, we'll show you the strobes first. I only got two. I got the shades Snobby and Enchanted and this is like a warmer pink shimmer here. And then I got Enchanted, which is, it looks like pearly white, but it's a really cool tone, bluey pink color. So I got these, cause I don't have anything like these. So I always try to find things that um, I can add to my collection that I don't already have a gazillion of. And I really like them so far. I used this one in, in the makeup look I did with this eye look. So that's what I was wearing at the beginning of the video on top of the lipstick. And then this one here, I haven't worn, out, out yet. And then this one here is just a little bit darker and a little bit warmer in tone than the enchanting one. So enchanting and snobby. And then last but not least, I picked up the Desert Dusk palette. So I love the packaging. The packaging is so pretty. You open it up and it's got this like really gorgeous plasticky sleeve with Huda's eyes on it which is just gorge it's so pretty you guys and the colors are spectacular but one thing i will say about this is the reason i really wanted this palette here what drew me to it were these two colors here twilight and retrograde because they seem very different and i was really drawn to those colors but once i actually had the palette in my hand and i was swatching the different colors those two colors looked really familiar to me and I found out why. They are literally exact dupes, you guys, for these two colors here from Urban Decay. So the first one here is in the shade Solstice, and I think this was one of their pressed pigments, and it is an identical dupe to Retrograde, and I will insert swatches. And then the other one is in the shade Twilight, I'm sorry, Twilight in the Huda Beauty palette is an exact dupe for Tonic from Urban Decay. So I already own Tonic, I already own Solstice, and they are identical, like identical, you guys. So 
Um, if you were drawn to this palette for those two colors and you don't want the entire palette, you probably just get a couple of, of these, but I don't remember how much the palette was. It might be more cost efficient to just get the palette, I don't know. But if you already have these two colors, and this is the reason why you wanted this palette, you don't need it because these are exact dupes. But other than that, it is a gorgeous palette. All the colors are so pretty. There's a lot of other redeeming qualities in this palette, you guys. I love the shade Cashmere, um, Celestials, Nefertiti, Angelic, they're just great. And then this Cosmo glitter one, um, that one does require a glitter glue, but I love the colors of the different glitters inside there. It's just, it's so pretty, guys. This is such a pretty palette, and I'm really glad that I picked it up. Even though I already owned these two colors, I really love the colors in this palette, and I know that I will wear it. All right, you guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, saw a couple things you might wanna try, and thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.